I led an army of Vikings, 200 ships and 1,000 men, and became king of England. He turned his back to the water and looked instead at the sea of faces. The boy has guessed my purposes. What wisdom comes from this boy, God really? There was no laughter now, and I felt proud, especially when the king told my father that I was wise. And followed the stony ice to the ocean of the paddling pool, now devoid of water, and on to the sopping wet, newly mown lawn. Perhaps it was time to go inside. But it's a little girl in her paddling pool and, um, you know, just sort of using her imagination. And um, that story actually was inspired by my daughter when she was small because we did have this big, big paddling pool in the garden. And she, you know, she used to cram it with all this stuff and, you know, sort of balls and there was this rubber dinghy in there and she used to just splash around and just sort of, she, she was a great one for using her imagination. So that's where the idea came from. Who was born in 1670. Now that's quite a fair bit back, but that was our simple ones. Uh, and he was married to a mayor, we don't know who the mayor was. And he was an agriculture worker. It's quite amazing. Mm -hmm. And it was right on my direct line through my mother. The life and times of Harriet Elizabeth Wetherall Waterford, Lady Waterford. We follow the winding overture path across the stave of bloom above and green below, a prelude to the music of the vineyard. Contrapuntal bird song, rumbling traffic weaving in polyphony, and the drone of a distant plane in the bass. Nature and unnature attempting harmony. Anyone can research now in the archives. They used to be really, really stuffy. Next year, I've been asked to take a group of people around Whitehaven to um, show them where my characters live, where they got married. In my book, uh, the muse is more of a dark force, a dark power, uh, with the power to inspire great artistic works, but on the flip side of that being the muse of tragedy, uh, a power with the ability to destroy lives, Art was her one freedom, her one escape, and she clung to it, surrounded herself with it, submerged herself in it. Her room of paper sheltered her from a world that was not yet ready to accommodate her.